would say about, I don't know, like five times a week, somebody asks me if I have eaten the blue java banana. This is a banana that has gotten some hype. There have been headlines out there. Blue banana tastes like vanilla ice cream. A lot of bold claims out there about this banana. And uh, I have not had it until today. Today I am going to try the famous Blue Java Banana. This experience was brought to you by MiamiFruit.org. They were kind enough to send me a big box full of these things. So if you want to try this, they are available on their website. There is a link in the description below. Now before I show you the banana, first let's take a look at the internet. That is what I was seeing online. So imagine my surprise when I opened up a box and saw these. I originally thought I got the wrong order because I was expecting blue bananas. These bananas do actually have a blue color, but it's when they're unripe. It's not like shockingly blue as a lot of the websites online um, show them to be. I'd say about 90% of those pictures are altered. You know, they're adjusted at least to suggest more of a blue color than this. I mean, I could do it too. Check this out. Yeah, look how blue that is. I've made it so blue, guys. It is the bluest thing in the world. It's not too hard to do that sort of thing, uh, especially if you're not showing your hand and face when you do it. And I think part of the reason why it looks blue is that if you get a really good look at this, you can see it kind of has like this white dustiness around it. Now that white dustiness on a already bluish green color kind of creates this more of like an iridescent kind of color and it makes it look even more blue under certain lighting. Even when they ripen all the way and they turn yellow, you can still see some of that, that white dustiness on it. But when they are unripe, they are very pretty. When you have one of these growing in your yard, they're very pretty because they do have that bluish color to them. So it's not entirely a lie, uh, it's just uh, something that I think gets exaggerated a lot. When you eat this thing, not going to be blue, however, it does have a bluish appearance on the tree. Mystery solved. Every time I do a review of bananas, people criticize the way I open it. They say me opening it this way is wrong, I should be opening it this way. Well, I'm going to just open it from the center, guys. Yeah, criticize that. <laughs> wow. The, uh, already the appearance on this is very cool. Like, this is a very white looking banana. It's got a very vibrant, creamy color on the inside. It's like a shockingly white color. So the claim is that this tastes like vanilla ice cream. And it does not taste like vanilla ice cream. But... It's delicious. This is a really, really good banana. I get why people say ice cream. I think this got misconstrued somewhere with people spreading this information back and forth without actually trying the thing. Doesn't taste like vanilla ice cream. I'm not especially getting vanilla at all, but the texture on it is so soft and creamy that it has the texture of ice cream. It's like dense, but creamy at the same time. I don't know if, like, I can fully explain it, but I mean, if you look at it, if you look at the half-eaten fruit that I'm holding in my hand, you can appreciate the juiciness that is going on inside that banana. This tastes very different. It has a berry flavor to it. My favorite banana out there that I've referenced a few times, the Pasang Kalang, is one that I say tastes like a strawberry shortcake. This has definitely similarities to that but it doesn't have the breadiness or the cakiness of the Pasang Kalang. If someone were to say to me this tastes a little bit more like strawberry ice cream I'd be a little bit more on on board with all of the very bold claims. On the scale I would say the tartness on this is like a 3 out of 10. It's not quite as sour as like an orange or something but it's more like the tartness that 
like a, a tart strawberry would have. That's a slightly more sweet than a Cavendish banana, but not by much. Let's say a Cavendish is like also a three out of 10. This is like a four out of 10 on sweetness. So there's a quote that I like uh, by the author Douglas Adams, uh, the writer of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, one of my favorite books. He said, I'm gonna butcher this by the way, uh, but you get the gist. <laughs> Isn't it enough that a garden is beautiful without also believing that there are fairies at the bottom of it? Now, Douglas Adams was obviously not talking about bananas, but I think the sentiment uh, can be applied to a lot of things in life. And that is, you know, th things can be great just for what they are without having to also make them blue and also make them uh, taste like ice cream or have them cure cancer or what have you. I think people like to take something that is already really good and try to manipulate it to make it even better. And maybe that's the reason why the blue java banana has also become blue in people's minds and uh, have basically the uh, appearance and texture and flavor of soft serve. It's, it's not, but that is by no means anything against this banana. This is absolutely delicious. This is probably uh, on par or close to my favorite banana the Pasang Kalang. I say Pasang Kalang I like a little bit better just because it does have like that cakiness to it and no banana taste to it. But this is definitely better if you like bananas. <laughs> if you want something that tastes like a banana but so much better than the one that we get at supermarkets, this is definitely one to try out. This is really, really good. It doesn't need to be blue, but it is when it's unripe. It doesn't need to taste like ice cream, but it does have a ice creamy like texture. So I hope that sets things straight about the blue java banana, aka the ice cream banana, something that everyone has been telling me to try for years, and uh, I've finally done it, and it was worth the wait. Thanks again to miamifruit.org for sending me these incredible bananas. Uh, if you would like to try this yourself, there is a link in the description below to their website where they have, have these for sale as well as a promo code, uh, I'll put that below as well. So uh, thanks again, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. I wanna give a special shout out to AltPod and Smarter Every Day. They are mega patrons over on patreon.com. Patreon is how this channel happens, it's how I can afford to do all the things that I do. So if you wanna help me out by supporting the channel and getting some bonuses along the way, check out the description. I also have these shirts for sale. Those are in the description as well. See you next time, bye.